Hurst Park and a royal prelude to an exciting meeting with the arrival of Princess Elizabeth. After the greetings, the princess's chief concern was to see her horse Monovine, which she owns in partnership with the Queen. Monovine was entered for the big event of the day, the Queen Elizabeth steeplechase, run for the first time. With jockey Tony Grantham up, he certainly looked at the top of his form as he left the paddock amid many good wishes, we may be sure. Up to the start, closely watched from the Royal Box. The 12 runners come into line and they're off. The first jump in slow motion, Monavine nearest the camera with what no sun in close attendance and plenty of challengers following on. On they go, the order still the same, Monavine and What No Sun. A neck and neck battle, but now watch Monavine, number 16, nearest the camera, move on into an all-out lead. Slow motion again shows Monavine well out in front and full of going in this grueling three-mile chase. Bad luck for Cloncaddick and his jockey as the rest of the field sweep on. Jump 13, Monavine still leads from What No Sun and there's growing tension in the royal box. Jump 14, and Monavine takes it like a bird. On to the final jump, and with a six-length lead, Monavine heads for the home stretch, while royal excitement rises to fever pitch. Monavine's dashing win in this testing race arouses hopes of a royal victory in the 1950 Grand National. So, what about it, Monavine?